letter X animal. But before we get to that, let's check out some of our letter W drawings. We did the walrus. So let's check out how you did. Here I see Cameron. Great job with your walrus. I love that glacier floating there in those Arctic waters. Very cool. Brother Jordan, nice job. Looks like you gave your walrus a little treat there to eat. It's nighttime for this walrus. Nice job. Here we have Mia. Well done. An icy blue background. We have Coralines. Nice job. Got that royal crown on there, as always. We have Caleb's. Great job. Got another one. I think this might be Lucas. Kaylee, great work. This one's Claire's, nice job. Um, Chase and Lena, so glad that you guys drew along with us. Well done on your walrus drawings as well. And oh, Miss Viper did some mulching over the weekend. That's what I was doing. Um, okay, so today is letter X day. We are going to do a X ray tetra. The reason it's called an x-ray tetra is this uh, fish is translucent. Um, you can see through it. Now there is a difference between saying translucent and transparent. Um, transparent would be something completely clear like a window. You can perfectly see through it. When we say translucent, it means you can see through it, but it's not crystal clear. Um, you can see a little bit through it. So that's what you're seeing here on our x-ray tetra um its body is a little bit see-through it's not crystal clear like a window but um we can see through it we can see um the spine that's inside there and some of their innards there um it's also known as the water goldfinch goldfinch is actually a type of bird uh that is yellow and that is what you can see here on the x-ray tetra so sometimes they call it the water goldfinch um due to those uh, gold colors around them um, the transparency of their skin is thought to be a form of protection because predators or things that are looking to eat it find it much harder to spot them um, amongst any of the uh, things that are down below because they are see-through. So if these tetras were hiding in between, say, seaweed or coral, and since you can see through them, they're not going to stand out as bright. Um, so that is a way that they can stay Right. X-ray tetra are naturally found in the Amazon rivers, coastal waters. They're in South America. So you're going to find them all around there. But um, that's where you would naturally find them, where you, you could find them in the wild. But they are actually one of the most popular species of tropical fish. So you might have actually already seen a X-ray tetra before. Um, if you're a person that has an aquarium or maybe you know somebody with aquarium, tetras um, are a household fish there. Um, very uh, robust, and they're they're able to to multiply and survive very well in household tanks. Um, so you might have actually seen one of these before. X-ray tetras young; they are called flies. Um, the female X-ray tetra will lay between 300 and 400 eggs. Um, she scatters them around seaweed, or um, I guess if you're in an aquarium tank, the fake seaweed that you might have. And then the fry begin to hatch as early as 24 hours later, that fast. Then they become free swimming in just a few days. And there you can see some baby tetra. And you can see they are translucent. I can see through their bodies even as young fries. You see all their innards and their eyeballs in the front, but the rest of them is translucent. X-ray tetra primarily hunt worms, insects, and small crustaceans. Or, of course, if you're in an aquarium, it would be fish food made of those same substances. So there, these are actually uh, tetra that are in a fish tank, and they're eating the fish flakes, fish flake food. All right, so let's jump over to here and draw our x-ray tetra for the day. Slide that over here also. Flip my screen around. And we are going to draw our x-ray tetra. We're going to try to draw it that we can see through it. So uh, we're going to start off the x-ray tetra itself is, if we remember, let me jump over here real quick to show some of these shapes that we see. So 
always good to come up with what are the shapes that we are seeing. Um, we want to get that kind of almost like a triangle face to the front of the body, and then it tapers back. So it's not a perfect football shape. It's a little bit wider in the front than it is back here in the tail. So trying to make that same shape, it's going to be a letter V on its side. Start at the top and go to the bottom. Now we're going to make it come back with another letter V on its side. But remember, it's going to be a little bit thinner. So I'm going to make it come back a little bit and back a little bit. Do you see how this is a little bit wider than this area where the tail is? For the tail, I want to make the top side go up the bottom side go down, and I believe those fins were curved, so we want to do the same. Curved. All right, let's put a fin on the top side, upside down letter V. Fin on the bottom side. Make sure I'm doing that right. Well, so we actually have these, then these, then these. So we have one, two, three on the bottom. So we have those. Let's put another one here. And then we need this other one in the back, which is down and then goes up. So down and then up. And then you can put in those little lines to show that there is a thin texture. On there. We want to give our eyeball a nice big circle with another circle inside. mouth there in the front. I'm just going to make a curve line. He actually kind of looks a little bit sad, so when you are the artist, you can kind of make these changes. I'm going to make mine look a little bit happier, so I'm going to make my curve go up. And there is a tiny little fin back here. I don't want to miss that. Little fin back there, I just noticed that. All right, now to make it an x ray tetra, um, we want to be sure that um, we're making it look like an x ray tetra, that we can actually see through it. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to put one little line here that's going to be their gills. And then from about the middle part of the gill, I'm going to make a line that swoops down. That's going to be kind of its stomach and its inner parts like that. But from that same line, I'm going to make a line that comes back, because this is going to be like the, the spine that you're seeing. And then I'm going to make that same line right underneath it back. And that part is the part that we're going to be able to see through. This part here we are going to be able to color in, but this part here we're going to make all of this um, see through. All right. And that's going to come out a little bit more when we go ahead and color it. Um, as always, you can come up with what you want your, your background details to be. Um, this could be a tetra in the wild, or that you can make this a tetra in a fish tank, actually. Um, I could have a bunch of pebbles down here. Um, if you have a fish tank at home, maybe you could add the details that are in your fish tank. Maybe you have an underwater sea diver in your tank, or maybe you have the uh, filter or the air bubble blower, or maybe you have a treasure chest. Whatever type of things that you have in your fish tank, if you 
want to add those things. I know in a couple of drawings, I've seen people add SpongeBob under the sea. Um, so you may add yours however you want your background details to be. I'm putting a bunch of pebbles at the bottom. I'm going to pretend this guy's in a, in a fish tank. The coloring part um, with our x-ray tetra, we want to make sure that we have the gold and the black on the fins. Um, and it's also a little bit reddish in the tail. So those are definitely details that we want to watch for. Um, this part here is a shinier silver. Um, but the back part of it is going to be translucent. So we want to definitely pay attention to um, that when we are coloring. All right, there we have uh, our Tetra colored in. Uh, what I do want to show you what I did a little bit with my um, coloring was I um, tried to make it look as if my Tetra was translucent, that I could see through it. And a good way to be able to do that um, is I colored my background water, this blue color. And then inside the fish itself, I didn't color it exactly the same color because we know it's not a perfect see-through. Uh, but I did make it a little bit of a lighter blue back here. I still can see the spine a little bit. Um, if you want, you could actually even add um, extra little bones. Uh, on there as well. So this would be the spine part, but if you want to add off the extra little bones on there, that's going to add to making it look like the spine that we can see. Um, but I did make it that lighter blue so that it looks like we're seeing through the Tetra. Um, if you're using crayons uh, or, or colored pencils, what you can do is you can color in your water first, and then when you go to color the inside of the fish, just press a little bit lighter. Um, it's a little hard for me to be able to do that on the computer because I'm just clicking. But um, if I were using a crayon or a colored pencil, uh, the water itself, I could use the same crayon or same color pencil and color in that water and then when I color the inside of that fish using that same crayon that same color pencil just do it lightly and that's going to make it look as if you're seeing through the fish um, the fish body itself I added um, like a silver tone we know it's uh, shiny looking so I added some uh, light gray I even on the edges added some uh, white so I can zoom in here you might be able to see that a little bit better I added white on the edges to make it look as if it's shining or catching the light. Um, so that's a cool tip. Um, I added the uh, red in the back. I added the black and gold. It's a, it's a Steeler fan fish. I added the black and gold for the um, fins there because we know uh, those are the colorings that we have saw on there. I did not make this section see-through because that would be the innards of the fish. That's not see-through. That's where its, its stomach would be. Um, so I left that the silverish color. Uh, you can add extra details in your background, seaweed, like we talked before, whatever is in your, your fish tank or a fish tank that you've seen before, you can do that. Um, but I think it's looking like a pretty good x-ray tetra. Um, and it, I need one more thing. Oh my goodness. I almost forgot. Um, it's been a while since we've done this, huh? Um, I need to add on our X for x-ray fish. And let's see if I can add it on there. I'm going to make uh, a sideways V and then another sideways V and then an upside down V and a regular V and then connect, connect connect, connect. To make it into a block letter, I need to extend out all of my sides. Extend, extend, extend. And then I'm going to connect. This is hard to do when it's flipped this way. Drawing on the computer, as I've been saying to many of you, is not 
easy. So hopefully for you, oh, that's the wrong color. Hopefully for you, it is much easier. Just gonna fix up some of those spots I messed up on and pick a color here. Yeah. All right, there's our letter X. It's a little wibbly wobbly. Hopefully you're able to do a better job on your, your pencil and paper. Um, so we have um, X. Next week we will be doing Y. And then after that, we, of course, have Z. So come up with some good ideas for your Y animals for me. And uh, we will see you then. All right. Have a great afternoon.